Hello and welcome to the middle of the modular in a week series. Uh, we've done 4.1 episodes and today I was supposed to make the 4.2, so the second part where I make a really cool dual voltage control LFO. Uh, so, but what happened was that uh, this Monday I did a live vlog uh, on my Patreon and you can go over there and see that, I think it's open now. Um, where I did a live patch of the modular as it looks right now and talked about about other stuff. Yesterday I was supposed to do the last of that VC LFO video and today I was supposed to release that. But what happened is yesterday uh, someone in the comment section on the uh, classic 2 op amp tri and square wave VCO uh, made a comment for some reason this Expo converter never worked for me. And that got me thinking that I never really tried the exponential converter, which I did build. And I did connect it to this one, but and then I, I used a beat step to control that, but I never really got it to work as I wanted. For that reason, I sat down yesterday and tried to tune this one, uh, to connect it to this one and tune it and uh, because of the way this is built up already and this one is a working module I really didn't get this one to find a good... Uh, I didn't have the... I didn't want to put this one back in there. So what I did instead is I sat down yesterday and I built a whole new one so I built a completely new one on uh, my own protoboard, which I've done a couple of times before. It's much more organized than this one, which is just a mess of Vero boards. So I have all the I have the input uh, summing mixer, the exponential converter, and then the oscillator core. Uh, and I also experimented while I did this I also experimented with different capacitors which uh, since we are on day 4 LFOs was a good thing because that way we can also make the as I said in the last episode that this one could possibly be a LFO a voltage controllable LFO and by just changing the cap actually with the uh, exponential exponential converter it is already quite a good uh, low frequency oscillator but with a different cap uh, like this one a 4.7 microfarad instead of the 47 nanofarad which is in place now it's a, a really slow LFO so that is good and in the spirit of day four but because of that so the video isn't done uh, but what is what I did is so I just want to say that you can tune it and let's see if we have some sound here I unplugged it So it is tunable uh, and I don't know how many octaves it can, it can track and it's it's not perfect as it is uh, and I, I had to sit quite a long time to get this one to be as good at this it, as it is and how you tune it is that again uh, so on, on this new board both the on on the schematics the input adjust trim uh, trim pot and the current to voltage trim pot in the linear to exponential 
converter are both uh, multi threaded uh, pots which makes it possible to really fine-tune it and get it to track well over a couple of uh, at least two or three octaves so you can tune it to answer Adamski A's uh, question in the comments it is fully possible to tune it well enough and also you can make it into a uh, voltage controllable LFO as I said as I thought you could so So now we're quite low and if we take the output and instead put it here, I think we have a sound here. So it's even with the 47 nanofarads it is still quite slow. By changing the uh, this this one to a f let's see 4.7 what did I say 4.7 microfarad we can get it really low. So now this is maximum. really slow <laughs> so uh, I, I think that even though uh, this episode this video is not uh, a new episode and not a new module it's the AACVCO but good to know that you can use it as an LFO as well I was only planning on making two but with this little thing here we now have three different LFOs uh, and this the the reason I only have this right now uh, is for demoing purposes and also I'm going to put the switch in so I can alter between these two uh, capacitors or some other value maybe this one is way too slow or not I don't know so anyway I'm gonna put the switch in there and so this one will be an exponential CV BCO and this one will be a linear CV BCO I don't think I'm going to put this one in I'm gonna leave that as it is uh, yeah and also uh, the the modular is in its correct place at the moment uh, with my on my new studio table which I've built uh, there comes a video on that this is part one the table in itself there will be some features below it and some features above it uh, that will come later on but this one I wanted to make the table finished so I could put the modular in its place um, to play with it a bit more and in the live video that I did uh, last Monday or this Monday I do make a patch from scratch uh, but the sound is really bad in that one which is why it looks like this today I have a microphone and 
plugged it all in through my computer and back into the camera. So I hope this sounds good. Uh, this is a first try doing this and if it doesn't sound good I just have to keep working on it. Uh, that's also a comment I've had that they've seen this one in the background and why don't I use it. So today I'm using that as well. So two LFOs done. Uh, an extra in between. Uh, so the rest of the episodes of uh, Modular in a Week is not post-productioned yet. Uh, and uh, all the ones before I did them all in one stretch because I wanted to have really many done when I started to uh, release them. Uh, so now I need to sit down and make each episode on its own and hopefully I can still make the schedule of one uh, video a, a week. Uh, so this one is uh, this week and the next week I'll do the VC LFO instead. That was intended and that is day four. Then we have three more days and they will be filled with envelope generators on day five probably and and then comes the two last days so let's just pretend that we started on a Monday and the two last days is Saturday and Sunday and then we don't need to keep on the four hours a day anymore because I mean it's the weekend we have loads of time so then we can really get into it and build many modules because uh, it will be noise modules and different modules you can do with noise like the random gate or the uh, sample and holds and stuff like that and then it'll be filters and there's a lot of filters out there that can be made so let's just make a whole bunch of them and let's not think about how much time that is going to take I think I'm done. So thank you for watching and uh, if you liked it press the thumbs up and subscribe and all that and if you want to see the live video go to my Patreon and until next time take care. Bye. I almost forgot you can I have to show this also. Now with, I have a beat step, so there's no sequencer in here yet, and that will be a, another a whole another. This one is sinking, isn't it? It will be a whole another week just to make sequencers and clocks and stuff like that. Uh, but with the beat step, I can now. I can now make a sequence if I had the right capacitor. A switch would have been much better in right now. Now then.